Chihuahua State Park 696 scenic acres offer plenty of rest, relaxation, and recreation. Just a short drive from the Auburn Opelika area, facilities include a 26 acre lake, swimming okay. area, playground, a modern campground, picnic areas with tables, grills, and shelters, cabins, hiking, and mountain biking trails. So why do you enjoy coming to Chihuahua State Park? Well, Chihuahua is a uh, good getaway from Auburn. I mean, if you want to come outside and have a little bit of fun in the outdoors, you can come out here, there's trails, hike around, water to hang out, you can eat out about anywhere you want too. So it's just a good getaway from school. Sounds good, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Lake Chihuahua is perfect for reeling in brim, bass, crappie, and catfish. The park offers plenty of hiking and mountain biking trails to choose from. Options range from the short, sweet shrub trail to the more challenging mountain biking trails built by the Central Alabama Mountain Peddlers. A majority of students surveyed said their favorite traditions of Auburn football were tailgating and watching the Eagles circle the stadium. Campus recreation fosters engagement, leadership, learning, and wellness through quality programs, state-of-the-art facilities, and a professional and highly qualified staff. These facilities include an indoor walking and running track, multi-purpose court, group fitness studios, outdoor recreation, and cardio fitness training areas. The focus at Auburn University Club is to provide a championship golf course and first-class practice facilities to the members and guests. Located just minutes away from the Auburn University campus, AU Club is the official home of the Auburn Tiger golf teams. What was your favorite part about AU Club? Uh, I would have to say how accommodating all the staff is. They take the time out of their day to come and help you and teach us so we can improve our skills. Ricky Smallridge, avid golfer for over 35 years, is Auburn University Club's Director of Membership and Instruction. Ricky started his golfing career with Auburn University's golf team where he and his team were consistently champion golf players. He has played the PGA Tours, won the Nike Tour, won the Alabama Open, and has been inducted into the Tiger Trail of Auburn and is a lifetime member of the PGA of America. Would you say your primary um, customers or clients with that, is it local Auburn community members or is it more people that come into the area? Well, being Auburn University Club, we, you know, we represent Auburn University, so, so although we have a pretty good local contingency, we do have a lot of out of town alumni people that come back to Auburn for games and things like that. So it's, it's, a, it's a diverse deal, but, but it's a, a little bit of all of them. So would you say you're, um, it spikes when you're in football season, would you say, your busiest time? Absolutely, yeah. Most of our out-of-towners, you know, come in for football games and like that. Of course, it's in the fall when the weather's good, which only adds to the opportunity to play golf, right? And um, in what ways do you see the golf tourism impacting the surrounding Auburn Opelika area? Positively, yes, it does. I mean, you know, Auburn, let's see, in like 2005 or six, was voted the number one golf destination in America. So, and, they, and the criteria for that is golf courses per capita, which we have a lot of, the weather, and pricing. So. So we, you know, Auburn has, has been a golf destination for a lot of people, you know, not just Auburn alumni, but people that are going from north to south and like that. So, so Auburn is a, is a great tourism uh, product for Auburn Opelika. Do you see the golf industry continuing to grow here? 
Yes. Now we have been, I will say, we have been over golfed for the last several years. We've actually had more golf courses than probably what we've had people that play golf. But Auburn is growing such, and Opelika both growing such that what I call it, they're growing into their golf courses. So, uh, so yeah, I, I see golf as you know something. You know, I don't know that we're going to be building any more golf courses, and don't think we need to. But what we're finally getting, you know, our golf courses are getting to play. That. Uh... Have you noticed an increase in golfers? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that there's been an increase in student golfers at the AU club over the past four years.